Hey everyone, Vinayak here. Today I have two new products from Sonoff, the Mini R3 and the S Mate. Let's set these up and see how they work. Here I have the Mini R3 and the S Mate. The Mini R3 is an upgraded version of the R2, but this is a mini version of the Sonoff switch I've reviewed earlier. Just look at the size difference between them. It has a plastic build, but it's quite sturdy. You can mount the Mini R3 to the wall using the holder provided. All the connectors are at the bottom here. First two are neutral and the others are line in and line out. That's for line power. So let's set up a simple demonstration on how it's supposed to be set up. So I'll be using this wire with a plug on the end as the power input. This would connect to the main line. Generally, you would connect the Mini R3 between the line power and the device you want to control, say a tube light or an appliance. But we are working with electricity here, so be careful. And if you don't know what you're doing, maybe get an electrician to install it for you. Okay, that out of the way, there are two wires coming out here. The black is neutral and red is line or power. There's a cover you need to remove before you can access the screws. It's a bit tricky to open, but I did manage to get it off. Neutral goes here and line here. Now that it's connected, we can set it up. Now open the EV-Link app and pair. It pairs using Bluetooth. So first we tap on Bluetooth pairing in the app. When turned on, we see this blue light here. As per the instructions, in order to activate the pairing mode, hold down the button here and the blue light starts to blink two times and then pause. Tick the indicator is blinking correctly next to the button and then click on next. The device is found in the Bluetooth device list. Tap connect, select your Wi-Fi, enter password and a few seconds later, you are done. Now you can name the device how you would like it and set a room as to where it would be placed. Okay, the device is now paired. Now when you tap on the virtual button on the app, we can see this red light here. It turns on when the switch is active and there's power flowing through it. When off, the red light turns off. Now to test if it works. Let's add a load, which is this bulb I have here. It's already within this bulb holder and I just need to connect this to the Mini R3. So L out and neutral. That goes to the bulb holder, now done. Now power the switch back on again. Once the blue light is steady, it's connected to Wi-Fi. Now let's see if it turns on when you use the virtual switch. Wow, it works. And turn off, it's working properly. We have tons of other options such as scheduling to run the switch at certain times, a timer to set it off after a stipulated time, or loop timer which turns the device on or off in a certain time intervals that you set. You can also use Alexa to control the Mini R3. Alexa, turn on Mini R3. Okay. Alexa, turn off Mini R3. Okay. Now we need to be able to control this wireless switch using an actual switch. I'm going to be using the standard rocker switch which has an on-off state. Here's the S Mate which allows connecting a rocker switch to the Mini R3 wirelessly. Uh, but it does use a battery, so we need to open up this cover over here. The battery is a CR2032 and it has a plastic tab underneath. Remove that and the device is active. Now to set it up, connect the rocker switch to the S-Mate. S is common and would be connected to multiple switches. I have only one switch, so here it goes and the other goes to S1. If you have another switch, you would connect it to S2, S3, etc. Okay, the rocker switch is ready and now to set it up. Open up the EV Link app and select Mini R3 or whatever your named your device. Settings, select EV Link Remote Sub Devices, tap on the plus button on the top right and it would be waiting for a new remote trigger. Turn the rocker switch on and the S Mate is detected. There, the S Mate is now linked to the app. The switch mate is now available to trigger any device using smart scenes. Add a new scene, under if this triggers, tap on add, under smart devices select the S-Mate, channel 1 as I am using S1, tap on click, make sure you see a blue check mark on the right, tap on save and then save again. Now for the target device, we can select any device within the EV Link app, tap on Mini R3 or whatever you named your device, tap on reverse which generally toggles between the on off state. Enter a name for the scene and you're done. And now it can trigger the connected Mini R3 from anywhere and that's great. This is an example of the switch working with the tube light in my son's room. 
the Mini R3 and the S Mate are really cool additions to the Sonoff Smart Switch line. The size is really reduced as compared to the original Sonoff switches. The small size of the Mini R3 allows it to be hidden away and the S Mate allows for remote control which is really cool. But cons, the R2 had a switch input which the R3 seems to be missing. But the S Mate adds that missing feature and allows connecting up to 3 rocker switches that to wirelessly. Okay, this wireless feature is a boon but also going to be a niggle as the battery needs to be replaced when it gets drained out. A bit of an inconvenience but now you can have the switch wherever you want. So that was the video. Make sure to hit like, subscribe and also hit the notification bell to be notified when new videos are added. Thank you for watching and see you all next time.